Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are working with the Basically Amazing Foundations and we have started the smallest size, so this is the D size. We've already started making this one. Um, these are available in my Etsy shop and I will have a link down below. I will also link the uh, playlist for this specific set of templates. I will link that up here and down below so that if you want to start from the beginning and see what's all included with this set of templates, um, and I can show you every page and I talk to you about it some more and there's also another video about all the different mock-ups uh, do a flip through of all of those So if you want to start from the beginning if you're just now finding this and you want to start from the beginning Go ahead and hit that playlist and start from there, but now we are um, We have already made the covers We did the binding and we added some pages. Okay, so we've already done that in video and all of that is in the playlist. So the first thing I want to tell you is I uh, told you guys that I was going to be making this a Christmas album and I'm gonna be using actual pictures from my Christmas. So keeping that in mind, I've been trying to plan a little bit better to be a little bit more conscious of what I need for the pictures that I took. So, and that being said, um, I thought I would maybe try to also talk you through what I've been, how I've been trying to work that out and still um, give you guys, you know, a really good solid base to go from. Do you know what I mean? Like to show, show you guys how I, I'm using my pictures with this set of templates um, and see if you can take it from there and run with it from there. So I'm trying to keep this type of album the most basic way possible to make this set this mini album. This It's not a mini album. It's a scrapbook album. It's a big album. So we're going to call it a scrapbook album and not a mini album. So it's a printable scrapbook album in case you again are just finding me. And everything you need is in the set of templates. You don't really need anything extra um, except for your photos and maybe your pretty ephemeras and pretty papers. So if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification and letting that'll let you know when I upload a video because I do do step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use all of my templates. So we will make this from start to finish. So I think this is the third video in this album so far um, for this exact album. Also stay tuned. Later on in the video, I'm going to give you guys a coupon code because it's actually, today's actually December 30th, 2019, and I want to have this video up tomorrow, December 31st. I'm hoping. I might get it up today. It just depends. But I want to give you a special end of the year coupon code that'll be good for the 31st and good for January 1st, 2020. So stay tuned for later in the video. I will give you that coupon code. Um, if you've been holding off on purchasing some of the templates or if you've been wanting multiples with the background designs on them, like the for this album, we're using the text and the vintage polka dot background design. So if you wanted to have both of those, um, now would be a good time to pick that up with the coupon code. So it's only going to be available or it's only going to be good for two days. So end of the year, beginning of the year. So anyway, so wait for that. Stay tuned for that. Oh, and off camera, I did want to tell you, I did add... I added one more page to the front of this album. So this is page, um, let me find it really quick. This is page 10D. So I printed off one more page of 10D and I just used this part here and I attached one more full size page to the front. Because what I, the pictures that I was looking at that I took, I wanna do, I don't, I think, I'm not sure what I wanna do with the front page. But I do want to do like a Christmas Eve tree and a Christmas morning tree. And then I want it to have a two page spread for all the mini album ornaments that I made this year and that's hanging on the tree. So I took pictures of that. Back here with this pocket that we have, I made a little booklet and it says 19 and then it says wrapping paper. So basically it's 2019's wrapping paper. So this was some of the wrapping paper that, um, Oh, <laughs> that I used. So these are actually cut to three by four inch size pieces, right? These were some that um, my daughter-in-law and son used. Um, well, except that one, my, my youngest son used that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so um, this page here is page 34D and it is the, 34D is the pocket insert, side pocket insert, whoops. It's this one over here, it's the smaller one. So I used this and I doubled up, I folded a piece of cardstock over and traced that out 
And so now I've got myself a little booklet, okay? And then this piece up here, this is one of the basically amazing photo mats. This is the one size for three by four. And then this is the, the green candy striped um, paper from the mini album ornament templates. Those are available in my Etsy shop too. I'll have them linked down below. So then I just stamped with the Tim Holtz, uh, what are they called? The super huge numbers. They're called numeric, right? So I just stamped the one nine and I cut it out and I, I used this little thing here, that little label. Let me get that stamp set. And that's this stamp set and it's called Just Saying by Tim Holtz. So I used this little label stamp and then I just wrote wrapping paper on there. And I covered it with, this is coffee stain paper. So I wanted that a little booklet in here and I haven't figured out, I haven't figured out what I'm going to put here yet, but, um, but yeah, so I've kind of, I'm trying to plan a little bit, but things can always be added, um, on here. Just like I showed you when we added the pages into the book in the first place. So you can add pages in just like that. So my thoughts are, I want to do, I've printed off some pictures. So here's my tree picture. So I'm going to skip the first one. So I was thinking about, dude, I printed these onto, this is matte photo paper. I chose matte photo paper because I didn't want the glare or the shine of the shiny photo paper um, on film, but they're both really pretty. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I just used matte photo paper and I have a Canon photo printer, a large foam mat, a foam, a foam mat, <laughs> a large, um, wide, um, what's that called? One of the big photo printers. It's a Canon, so I've been using Canon photo paper. So I thought I would use the basically amazing photo mats for this because I want to keep it kind of simple. Um, and I've already already printed them out right here. So I printed off, I think I printed two sheets off. Oh no, I'm going to use that for the other pictures. So I left myself some notes because again, I'm trying to be a little bit more prepared. So this is page 7BD. So this is meant for 4x6 photos. So the 4x6 photo will fit directly on top of there, but it already has the photo corners and the black photo mat. So you need a page of that if you're kind of doing it the same way that I'm doing mine. Um, and then for the mini album ornaments, these are cut down to three by four size. And so the page 13D is what I'm going to be using for that. Now, if you don't have these photo mats, you can make your own. Let's see. So if you don't have the add-on, the basically amazing photo mat add-on set of templates, then let me show you what you can do. You can do the same thing with you know, that, that I'm going to do with these and the photos, but you can take for the four by six photos, you can take the, let's see, 17, the 17 BD page, 17 BD is an actual pocket page or a flip page or whatever, but you can take the mat for that and trace it out onto black cardstock, right? And then you can use real photo corners and do the exact same thing as I'm getting ready to do with my faux, you know, photo corner pages. So you can also do the same thing with the three by four photos. And this one is page, um, it's not 17, it's, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. And this one is page 21DE, right here. Oh, we're gonna be using this as well, because I had an idea. So you can also take the mat for the 21DE, trace it out onto black cardstock, and then use real photo corners. Cause see the, you know, the, the photo is held in there by the photo corners, or you can use the printed version. So either way, so once we get these together, we'll, we'll do them side by side and you can see the difference in what they look like. I like both looks, but um, these are in between pages, so there's not a lot of space, so I didn't want to make it too thick. But I am getting ready to do something that's going to make it a little thicker, so I think it's going, to kind of, it's going to be funny. Okay, so I wanted to tell you that. So I did print off page 21DE because I think I'm going to use, I'm going to put a little flat page here so that I can add some of my Christmas tree 
my actual, it's a real Christmas tree. I wanted to add some of the bits um, from my Christmas tree onto this page and I wanted it to be kind of see-through. I want it to be like a flip that does this business, right? So I printed one of these off for that because what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is, where is that one page? Okay, so I printed page 101. This page here, I printed that. It's from the foundation set. And this is a size for a three by four card. So I printed these out onto the green stripe from the mini album. And I thought it'd be fun to have one underneath each tree here. And then I could do, I could trace a white part here and I could put, you know, Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, you know, just as a, this is what this is about. A journaling spot so then thinking about that I thought well why don't I do a little flip page too where I can add my little bits of my Christmas tree okay I, I think I'm making sense I hope I'm making sense so we'll see so that's what that's where that's where I'm going so we're gonna start with this page first and then go on to that okay I kind of lost my train of thought you guys <laughs> I'm we're in the middle of trying to whoa trying to sell my mom's house and it's just <sighs> It's just wearing me out. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> just wearing me out. Okay. I forgot. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. I'm going to cut these two out. Also, keep all your scraps. Because we could use that. Uh, you could, we can use all of our scraps. Keep your scraps. I'm going to cut these two out. And then I'm also, I think I'm going to cut all of these out. Because I think I'm going to use two of these at the bottom. And then I'm going to use two of them on my little flippy page. And then I might use two of them. I don't know. I might not. But I'm definitely going to use four of them. So I'm going to cut this page out really quick. I'm going to cut these. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I also want, you need two pages of the, or, or you need a page of these too. This one is the 13T, right? Uh, I'm going to use two of these for those. Um, on the pages. So I might actually might need four for the flip page. Oh. So I'm going to cut all four of these out as well. So I'm going to cut this page, this page, and all of these out. And then I will be back. Yeah. There's where I was. There was my train of thought. So I will be right back. <laughs> okay. So I got all the pieces cut out. Um, I went ahead and did two of them. They're not glued down or anything, but I went ahead and added two photos, the photo to the, um, to this. Whoops. <laughs> my elbow, you guys, is still hurting so bad. Um, I went ahead and added the photo to the uh, Basically Amazing photo mat. And I went ahead and added one of these to the other size, right? So this is kind of where we're headed. I'm not gluing them down yet because I still want to go ahead and do the flip. I might, I might, I don't know. I want it down here at the bottom. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did these really quick um, so for the for the photo mats I did ink them this is I've got archival ink in jet black by Ranger that I did uh, ink the edges because this is on printed on white cardstock which is linked in my Amazon by the way I have a special list just for just for this project so I'll have that down below and then um, not in then. So to get rid of that white core, and especially if I cut wrong, um, just inking that up really quick, it makes it go bye-bye. I need to get a new pad for that because it is shedding everywhere. So then I need to do that for one of these. I actually need to do it for a ball, but I'm just going to show you this on camera. Just this one, these two on camera anyway. So that way, get rid of that edge. And then for the photos, so I've got the Christmas tree photo, and then I've got one of these, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, since I have the We Are Memory Keepers photo corner punch, I'm going to use that, but when I showed you, I have a specific video just for the add-ons, the photo mat add-ons, I will link that specifically up there and down below, where I show you different options if you didn't have this punch. So what it does is it makes a nice little photo corner and it fits perfectly on these photo mats. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do this for both the photo and the, um, what's that called, instat embellishment there. And then, um, let me get back to the picture. Let me show you that again, the picture that has real photo corners, just so you can see the difference. It's not the same picture, but. So this is the printed off photo corners, and this is the real photo corners. And it's a different, a little bit different color. I think these are like, te no, what color are those? Those are brown, but they're not as dark as the printed off photo corners. So it's a little less work and a little less layer, but, um, they still both look really cool. Either way, I like them both. I'll be interchanging back and forth probably throughout the whole album. So, just to let you know. Okay, so then with these two, I'm going to use my Distress Oxide Walnut Stain. And I'm going to ink the edges of these two. By the way, this is my ink station I made using my Crafty Companion. I have a video on how I made that. And I will actually link that up there and down below as well. If you want to see how to make the cool little ink station with the feet. Um, I get asked a lot of questions about that because I just used compon components of the Crafty Companion, my template that I put out, or the last set of templates I put out before this one. Um, I just used components of it. I didn't, there isn't a specific ink station and garbage bowl template. I just, so in the video, I explain all of that, but I get asked that quite a bit when I say it in a video like this. People are like, well, mine doesn't have that in there because, well, they hadn't seen the video yet. So, um, but I get it a lot. So anyway, so it'll sit right there. And you can hardly tell that it's a faux, that it's faux photo corners. <laughs> is, that, uh, is it gonna, I'm not, I can't tell if it's focused in or not. Is it faux, there we go. See the faux photo corners? So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down. I'm just using our art glitter glue right now. And I do ink my photos. Do you guys do that? Do you ink your, your photos? Um, I think I might be a little, I think I like the look of it and I don't think, you don't have to do it. Uh, I might be one of the few people to do it, but I like the way it looks. So, so I just went around the edge and I'm off just a little bit, but that's okay. It does not matter. See how I got off? You, you probably can't even see the little bit of white, but the, again, it's not going to matter. And then I'm going to add this one. Same way. I like to use glue that gives you just a little bit of wiggle room when you're trying to match these corners up. So you can wiggle it around just a little bit. So it's going to look like this. This is what I'm thinking. So then I also need to cut that out. I'm going to sit that over there so I don't forget. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab, no, that's not it. This is the page 101. I just need this inside part. So I'm just going to peel that away. I didn't do a very good job of de-sticking my traceable templates when I made my book, but but that's okay. Then I'm going to grab some of these cutoff pieces and see if I can't use yeah, can't use that. So I need two of these. So I think what I'm going to do is just lay it down, trace around it, cut it out, ink it up. And I'll be right back. I'm just scooting it over. Whoops. Got way off, went right onto my template. And then I'm also, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut one of these out. I'm just gonna leave one tab on. Here, I'll go ahead and do it now. I need to get the paper trimmer that's light. This is a Fisker's paper trimmer, it's super light. Um, if, if you guys have been watching me, you know that I've hurt my elbow, but first I'm gonna, so this is page 21 DE. I'm gonna slice down this part here and I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna stick this um, over here in my Crafty Companion where I'm keeping all of my extra pieces. 
so they don't get lost. And then there's even a belly band down there. I don't want the belly band, but I'm going to cut that bottom tab off. See, I know I'm, it's hard for me to use the, um, the wire one. I'm so used to my precision one. I love that thing, but my elbow, I even took some um, ibuprofen today to try to help with my elbow, but I'm not having much luck. Okay. See, I'm just, I'm just not used to lining it up. Okay. All right. So I've got that. I'm going to score this really quick. Oh, I should have went ahead and cut those out. There's my, this is a Teflon pencil stylus thingy. Love that thing. Okay, so now I'm going to finish. I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to ink all three pieces up and then I will be back. Okay, I went ahead and prepared two more of these because I think I want to cut, uh, cut the middle out and then lay it on here and cut the middle out of this page and so on and so forth so that I can insert this in. I'm going to have to take the, the pieces, the, uh, what are those called? The, um, what are those called? The little leaves off of the branches because I, I need it to be flat. I also need to be able to have it sealed because I, this is one of the reasons I've been having so many allergies <laughs> issues was because of that. So let me grab, let me grab my, let me move this stuff out of the way. I haven't attached anything down yet. So this is just a craft mat and I'm going to grab my craft knife. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to just go freehand and see what happens. And I'm also gonna try to go right inside the brown line. I don't know how good I'm gonna do, but we'll see. This is a Scotch craft knife. I like it because you can snip off the blades you know, that each little individual thingy and then you get a new, fresh, sharp blade. I, I might have got out of the one just a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, look it. I did, didn't do too bad. Okay, let me... Ha 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 I did get off a little bit right there, but who cares, right? Who cares? So I thought about just using like transparency and squishing it or using tape and squishing it, but I just didn't like the look. So I did do like the tape. I did test it out with the tape. I'll show you. And I didn't like the look of it. I just used like shipping tape. And it just looked weird. I don't know. So, decided not to do that. All right, so now I'm going to bring this over. And I'm going to lay it on here. So, it's going to be right here. So, now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to trace that inside circle. Circle. I'm going to trace the inside here. Right, and then I'm going to go on the other side of the pencil line, not on the pencil line, but like on the outer edge of the pencil line. Almost 100% perfect. You know what I'm going to do? Um, let me find a piece of scrap. I'm just going to ink the edges like this.
Yep. So that when this piece is on there, you don't see the white. Right, so it looks like that. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go ahead, let's see. So then now I need to lay this on here and cut, hopefully it'll be the same. I wonder if I could just, I wonder if I could just cut this. How did I do it? Did I go on the line there? I wonder if I could just cut it without tracing it. Let's just see. So here we go, moment of truth. All right, I can do the same thing, ink these edges on this back side. Not too shabby, nice. Okay, it worked out. I wasn't sure if it was going to, but it did. All right, I'm going to ink the inside like the other side. Well, just so you can't see the white, white. And then I'm going to ink this one. Now I just need to figure out the situation. So I think what I'm going to do is, I've already got some of them torn off there, but I need some more. So, um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to get these off of here. thought about cutting them, but then they would look cut. So I'm going to take a minute and try to get all these off their stems here. So I don't need the thickness of the stem, that is for sure. And I'm probably going to start sneezing here soon. <laughs> Okay, I will be right back. Oh, this might be a good place to insert coupon code information. So I will do that, actually. I will keep this a rolling and I will put the information on the screen for you. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this on here, or lay it on this way, and I'm going to try to just make this bag just a little smaller, a little bit more compact, so I'm thinking if I... I'm going to cut it right here at the zippy part and glue it. We'll start there and do that. And then that way we can have that in there. And then. Try to make it to where it's super tight. We'll see. This may or may not work out. I don't know. We're going to give it a whirl, though. So we're going to cut it there. And cut it there. And glue it. I thought about doing the fuse tool, but I don't want to grab it. I don't want to get it out. So I'm just going to cut the bag. Okay. 
and hope this works. We might have done all of this for nothing. <laughs> don't trust stuff, how are you going to know, right? So I'm going to put glue along this edge and I'm going to put glue along this edge. Make sure there's no air. I think I'll glue this one on first. This is going to be the front. I think I'll glue this on first and then I'll glue that along the back side. Or do I want to glue this on here and then glue this on? What do we think? I think either way it's going to be the same. So, let's, let's glue the back side on. Is there a front or a back? Do I don't, this is the back side. Let's glue the back side on first, and then we'll put the front together. So, I'm just going to go around the opening. And then I'm going to go around the edge of this. And if it's not 100% perfect, it is okay. I'm way off on there, but that's okay. So then I'm going to go around the edge here and apply glue to attach the bag of pine. What are those called? Pine leaves? I don't know what kind of Christmas tree it is. I guess I have to find that out. My husband got it for us, so I have to ask him what type of tree it is. I might have gotten glue. It's okay. Because I scooched it. Okay, now I'm going to go around the edge of this. I don't need that one. I need to make sure that these are all closed off just in case. Go around the edge of this. So, I mean, I am adding bulk in between the two pages, you know, in the album, but I think it's cute if you wanted to add a little bit of your Christmas tree. I hope you can't, I mean, I guess you might be able to smell it through there, but yeah, I think it's cute. All right. Okay, I'm going to put these two pieces aside. I'm going to also take these and put them in my, where's my scrap paper drawer? I have in one of my crafty companions. I actually have two right now. I actually have three that I'm using for this project because I've got so many different things going on at one time. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough room. Um, so I'm going to put those pieces there. Let me move these out of the way too. Don't need these currently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this, this tab. I'm going to attach it down here, but I need to attach it right where this is going to be if that makes sense, because I want it to look like it's exactly the same. So, I think what I'll do is I'll do one side and then the other. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna glue the picture down of the tree. I like using my tape runner. I've been loving my tape runner uh, for quick, you know, adding things like this into, into the album. Um, but I figure too, you know, since this is m meant to be like a basic version, I figure some of you may not have those types of tools. 
lines. So I'm just going to use wet glue. But I like my tape runner too, so I'll probably go back and forth. I mean, I probably will. I'm not going to lie. All right, so now I just need to figure out how much spacing. I think I'm just going to go off the bottom edge here just to make it easy. All right, so there's one page. Right, there's gonna, I'm, I'm not sure if that's gonna be the front page, but we left that blank, and here's the next page. And so remember, we're gonna write Christmas Eve uh, or stamp or something for that. So then this can go literally right at the edge there. Yeah, that did, I did good. I did good. Woohoo! Okay, so I'm gonna put some tape. This is score tape. This is 3 eighths of an inch score tape. You don't have to use 3 eighths of an inch, but that's what I got. I'm going to put some score tape on one side. I'm wondering, do I need to... I am going to tab this corner. These corners, I'm just going to bring them in just ever so slightly. Like that. And... I did ink both the front and back of this of this flip, but I wanted to make sure I got that edge. So it's gonna go right here. All right, so let me take the tape backing off. Still not sure about my tool here. I haven't used it since the last video, but I haven't done anything, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I'm literally gonna line this right up, right in that Right in that um, crease there. Yep. I mean, it did add a little bit of bulk, but that is okay. So now we've got that, and then this will go here. Yeah. Love it. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and put this down. Okay, so, oops, so then again, these will go here. I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna, if I'm gonna stamp that or what I'm gonna do, but it's gonna look like that. So let me think about that and then I'll be right back. Okay, I was fooling around a little bit and I can't get, I can't stamp Christmas with these letters onto these little spots. So I'm just gonna do the day and the eve. I'm gonna scoochie in them. Right, so I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna stamp day on one and Eve on the other and then write Christmas, I think. So I've kind of arranged, this is the Tim Holtz worn text uh, stamp that I'm using. So I kind of just arranged them on there. I think I'm gonna stamp off of it, off of the thing just a little bit. Let me grab something to stamp on. All right, so I think I'm going to stamp it down just a hair. I'm going to try to get straight. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to see, because I can always recut another piece of, um, of the scrap there. Okay, it should be good and covered. I'm just gonna stamp down. Oh, hope I didn't wiggle it. All right, so that says day, so it'll be here. And then the eve. I've already got the E and the V. up ink my stamp sorry about that my um husband's off he took off for the rest of the year i guess <laughs> um anyway he come barging in and at the wrong time so i had to get cut out that little bit but um all i did was stamp eve here so i think i'm just going to write christmas eve and christmas day 
I'm just gonna write Christmas on these two. But then I also thought, I still don't know what kind of Christmas tree this is, but I do want to do like a little label-y thingy there um, with that Tim Holtz with this one. So what I'm gonna do is, this one's called Just Saying. I don't know if it's still available anymore. It might be. And I'm gonna grab a scrap. And I am going to stamp this out twice. And then I'm gonna cut it out. And then I'm gonna put that on there so that I could write on there what type of tree this is. Just for future reference. So I'm gonna stamp this out twice. Let's go ahead and look it. Let's go ahead over here because I can't get my head over top of it. Right, so I'm gonna cut these two out and then I'm gonna ink it up, I think. I love this little, what I need to do is I need to stamp a bunch of them, cut a bunch of them out and then go from there, right? And then I'll have them available, that's what I should do. All right, I'm gonna cut these out really quick. And I, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a border around, just barely a white border. And ink them up a little bit, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I cut them out and inked them up just really quick. No big deal. And we're just gonna place them right here one on each side so that I can write on there exactly what kind of tree it was or if I have a different message or whatever. So we're gonna glue those on in just a second. So I think I'm just gonna take a Sharpie. This is a Sharpie pen. And I think I'm just gonna be real sloppy about it. I'm not sure. Right? Sometimes the sloppier you are, the better. So I just really quickly wrote Christmas on both of them. So we're gonna add one here and one here. And then the two labels. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I am going to glue them down. So that is that. So that is this page, this one set of pages right there that was flat, you know, it was flat like this. Well, there was nothing in between, but now there's, um, there's a few more layers, but that's okay. So that's not too bulky, right? I don't think it is. So I think it looks cute. What do you guys think? Christmas Eve tree and Christmas Day tree. I should have done an aftermath. Um, after after all the presents and things I should have done that but I forgot you try and so there's all the little Christmas tree bits and then of course I already showed you this little booklet here so I think this will be it for this video and then the next video we'll do the Christmas tree ornaments on these two pages and then I still haven't figured out what I want to do on this page just yet but I do love the way this little booklet turned out I thought that was super cute super easy um, just little snippets of the, you know, just three by four pieces of the wrapping paper. I just thought it was super cute. And I did save like tags, you know, that's a two grandma or whatever. I did save those little tags, so I'll probably be using those as well. But anyway, so all right, I think we're just going to call this video done for now. This, this page is done for now. And I wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. And the next video probably won't be up until the second or so, somewhere around there. But um, but anyway, so I kinda just wanted to jump in and do one more video real quick before the end of the year. So I hope you guys have a really safe um, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and don't forget to check out that coupon code that was earlier in the video. It's only good for December 
31st, 2019 and January 1st, 2020. Um, it's only good for those two days and that information will be down below. The coupon code won't be down below because that's in the video, but the information will be down below. I also wanted to say thank you for such a great year. Um, I think you guys have really helped me with the with my mom's passing. I think you guys have really helped me work through that. You've kept me focused. You've been encouraging. You guys have been super great to me. I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I've really had a hard time with my creativity this year and, and I'm starting to feel it coming back. I'm starting to feel better. I'm still working on my mom's stuff, but um, slowly but surely we'll get that done. So I just wanted to say thank you again, just really quick. Thank you so much for your guys' support of me and helping me and keeping me focused and keeping me encouraged. And anyway, just thank you. So I will see you guys next year. Bye.